Okay, so what we have is what are the points on the unit circle? Um, 30 degrees. Well, that doesn't really kind of make sense, but we, right now we've talked about four important points on the unit circle, and those are the x and y intercepts. So they're pretty easy to understand because we knew that one coordinate had to be zero, and since the radius was one, the other coordinate was either going to be one or negative one. Don't worry about my mustache, by the way. So anyways, what about other angles or other points on the unit circle? And one point that I want to look at is how about if I said, you know, here we, we talked about all the way around the unit circle was you know 360 degrees. So half of it was 180, 90. Well, what about if I broke 90 up into thirds and I say, what about, can I find the angle on the unit circle that relates to 30 degrees and an angle, a central angle of 30 degrees? Well, what I'm gonna do to find the rest of, to find those, those um, coordinates, what I'm gonna to have to do is create a triangle. So to do that, one thing we notice is if I draw a perpendicular line from my point on the unit circle down to the x-axis, I can create a 90 degree triangle. Therefore, what I've just created now is what we call a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And that's gonna be a little bit of definition if you remember frac from kind of your geometry days. Hopefully you studied a little bit of 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now to figure out actually, the under, to understand actually how to do it, this problem, where well, I'm not actually gonna work with a 30, 60, 90 triangle because you know what? I might have forgot how all the sides on a 30, 60, 90 relate to one another. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually draw a equilateral, equilateral triangle. I am going to say that I'm going to say that uh, my x-axis is going to bisect my uh, two parts of my triangle. Therefore, what I'm actually going to create is a 60-60-60 triangle. All right? So therefore, if I say these two are the same, that would be 30 degrees down, and then that would be 60 degrees. Therefore, now what I've just created is an equilateral triangle. And I'll kind of explain a little bit why I'm doing that as well. So let's say that our radius is 1. If our radius is one, now remember, if this was an equilateral triangle, we know that this radi that hypotenuse or radius would be one, and then this whole distance is one. But if I want to kind of focus my attention on a 30, 60, 90 triangle, I could say that then half of this distance, since it's being bisected um, by the x-axis, is now going to be one half. So now I'm going to actually eliminate the rest of this triangle because now I was able to kind of understand how I get my radius was one, which we know because it's the unit circle, and the unit circle has a radius of one. But we know now this leg, by using, by constructing an equilateral triangle, this leg is gonna be one half the distance of one at 30 degrees. So how am I going to be able to figure out what the rest of, what this um, missing angle is? And let's go ahead and use A, because a lot, I think a lot of times when we use Pythagorean theorem, we like using the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So right now I have a squared plus one half squared equals one squared. So let's write that out. So I have a squared plus one half squared equals one squared. So a squared equals one fourth, oops, a, a squared plus one fourth equals one. Now to solve for a squared, I'm gonna subtract one fourth And I get a squared equals 3 fourths. Now what I'm going to do is solve for a by taking the square root, and I'm going to end up getting a equals the square root of 3 divided by 2. So what that means is this distance right now is the square root of 3 divided by 2. So if you think about it, if that distance, that is now going to be your x coordinate. So it would be the square root of 3 divided by 2, and then the vertical distance, or your y coordinate, is going to be 1 half. Now, that's one point for 30 degrees. What we notice is this point is reflected all about this unit circle. You can already see we have a reflection down here. Now this reflection is going to be square root of 3 divided by 2, but now my y coordinate has to be negative. And then you can see there's a direct reflection over here as well. So now these points are going to be negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. And this point is going to be negative square root of 3 divided by 2, comma, negative 1 half. Now it's important for us to understand that here's my 30 degrees, right? So to get to this triangle, we know that these are all going to be off 30 degrees off of our x-axis. So therefore, if I know half of a triangle is, or half of a circle is 180, 
30 degrees subtract from that, that means this angle is going to be 150 degrees. So from the initial side to here is 150. From here to over, all the way over to here is going to be add another 30 degrees, it would be 210 degrees. And then here, all the way down to this angle would be 330 degrees. So therefore, now what I've done is I've just constructed four more points on the unit circle depending on the angle. Now, we don't need to stop there because what we notice is if I add another 30 degrees, I'm going to get a 60 degree triangle which means that I can actually draw another triangle here and notice that this now is going to be, because 30 plus 30 is 60, that means I'm now going to be 30 degrees from my y-axis, meaning I'm creating another 30, 60, 90 triangle. By looking at the same triangle, I can now determine that this point is now going to be 1 half square root of 3 over 2. So at 60 degrees, I have a point 1 half square root of 3 divided by 2. And then again, by using my reflections that I did in the previous one, I can now determine the rest of the points around the unit circle. So then this point would be negative 1 half, common negative square root of 3 over 2. And then the reflection of that point over there would be 1 half, comma, or neg negative square root of 3 divided by 2. Now, what are the angles for these points? Well, again, if this is 90, to go off, 30 degrees off of 90 would make this 120 degrees. Then, to go, if all the way around here is 270, 30 degrees off of that would be 240 degrees. And then, here, I have 270 to add another 30 degrees, I'm going to have a 300 degree triangle. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I've now just added six more points on our unit circle when we started with our original four, but these are now going to be six more important points we can use to be able to help us construct the unit circle. There you go. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot. Make sure you subscribe. Ask any questions you have. Thanks.